Hey everybody and welcome back. If you're new to this channel, my name is Garrick and we're here to discuss resources to earn money from home and how to create and scale up your home-based business or digital agency. In today's short video, I'm gonna show you how to filter your IP address in Google Analytics version four. Now, why would you wanna do this? Well, if you're doing a lot of work on a website that may also have digital ad campaigns running, or in a situation where traffic reports are super important. Uh, you wanna make sure that the visits coming from your computer or your network are, are moved out of those analytics. Um, so filtering out your IP address from your computer, your network is gonna make sure that Google Analytics provides only valid traffic data in its reporting. And so this is really easy to do, but very important as well. So let's check out how to do it. It's important to keep in mind that this tutorial here is gonna show us how to filter the IP address in Google Analytics version four. So in it's 2022, um, sometime this year, Google is going to be pushing all analytics properties to version 4.0, so you'll be required to upgrade. So moving forward here, what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to want to go to Google Analytics or analytics.google.com. And this is also with the assumption that you've already added uh, analytics to your website. So from here to get started with the filtering, we're gonna to go to the admin tab down here. And then we're gonna go over to data streams. And if everything's set up, you should see your website here in data streams. We're gonna click on the arrow. A new window will open. We're gonna scroll all the way down here to more tag settings. And then with this window, we're going to click on define internal traffic. And now we've got blank rules here. So what we're going to do is click on the create button and now what we're gonna do is you can name your rule, we'll just call it internal traffic. And I am human, so I will fix that. Traffic types is going to be internal. Now an IP address, here's where uh, you, could, you could have a number of different options here. And we're gonna keep this video simple, but let's assume you're inside of a large network. You may need to contact your network administrator to get the IP address that you want to insert in the value field here. But we're going to keep it simple and we're going to assume that you're either in your own home office, you're at home, and you just want to filter out the traffic coming from your single machine. So we're going to make sure we have IP address equals. And then over here, we're going to click on uh, this link here. What's my IP address? And you're going to see this information pop up on screen, which is going to be your public IP address. This is what we want to copy and bring back over and put in the value field here. Now, if you've got multiple machines or again, network situations with multiple, multiple IP address configurations, you're gonna, you can keep adding conditions to this single rule. In this case, we won't have that. So I'm gonna remove that. And then I'm gonna go up here and click create. So now that we have our internal traffic rule set up, we want to go back and quickly test it. So we know the data is being captured. So we will go back into our reports and we're going to go to real-time reports. What we're going to do is we're going to add a comparison. So we'll click on add comparison. And then over here, in the dimension dropdown, we are going to type in test. And we are going to click on test data filter name. Then we're going to select our rule we created, internal traffic. We're going to click OK. We're going to click apply. So when the comparison loads, we're firstly going to see over here, um, our test data filter set up, but we could see it's zero. So what's that? what that's indicating is we, we obviously haven't been on the website since our setup here. So if you've set up your IP address in the filter, you wanna make sure to navigate the website. Um, if you've filtered out an IP address of someone remotely, you wanna make sure to get in touch with them and have them browse to the website and navigate around a little bit. So once we do that, we can come back and confirm that we've uh, that our filter's working. We want to complete the setup. So we can remove this comparison. And then we're gonna wanna come back down to admin. And we'll go into data settings, data filters. We see our internal traffic rule we've created. We'll just click on it and go through and make sure our settings are set up here correctly. We wanna make sure that we're excluding reporting from that IP address. And then we'll just want to go down here and make sure we move from testing to active. And then come back up, click save, confirm. And then we're all set up. 
Please be sure to subscribe, like, and share if you enjoyed the content in this video. And be sure to check out the links in the description below for access to offers and resources that truly help support this channel and our work.